Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys? Good. Good. Alhamdulillah. Not good. Say Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, Alisa, sit down. Okay, Alhamdulillah. All praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for each and every blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. Insha'Allah, from today, we will be doing approximately 20 minutes to 25 minutes every single day, in um, which we will be teaching uh, the children or anyone that wants to watch on educating them and um, benefiting them with different, different things, insha'Allah, regarding Anbiya alayhim salatu wassalam. So I was just thinking at home that we don't want to be wasting time and um, we don't want the children to just pass their time as well and um, alhamdulillah so we've put this i've put this little plan together inshallah as the children are at home because of which virus coronavirus yeah coronavirus anisa will you just sit in one place please because of the coronavirus okay so all the children are at home so let's benefit inshallah from this let's learn something let's educate ourselves and inshallah we're trying to make it as much exciting as possible inshallah so we're going to start with the stories of the prophets inshallah we're going to start with the first prophet does anyone know what the first prophet name was anyone put the hand up adam okay adam alayhi salam okay does anyone know which the last prophet was who was the last prophet anyone else go on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay, so we're going to start with Prophet Adam alayhi salam. Does anyone know how many prophets came into this world? I've taught you this loads of times. How many? 10, 15, 20, Aqsa, how many? Huh? 124,000. 124,000 prophets came into this world or messengers came into this world which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent okay how many are mentioned in Quran does anyone know how many are mentioned in Quran anyone 25 remember this how many are mentioned in Quran 25. 25 okay so starting from one side okay over here name me a prophet apart from Adam alayhi salam and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam um. Musa alayhi salam. Okay, Aliyah, don't shake your head. Which prophet? Tell us any prophet, any name of any prophet. Go on here. Isa alayhi salam. Beautiful, <laughs> masha Allah. Okay, Hira, what about you? Suleiman alayhi salam. Suleiman alayhi salam. Beautiful, masha Allah. Okay, anyone else? Names of prophets. Okay, there was. There's twenty five prophets which are mentioned in the Quran. I'll just give you some examples, like for example, Adam alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, okay, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Ismail alayhi salam, Ishaq alayhi salam, Yaqub alayhi salam, Yusuf alayhi salam, Ayyub alayhi salam, yeah, Zakaria alayhi salam, Yahya alayhi salam. So approximately how many? 25 are mentioned in the Quran. Okay, you need to remember this okay the first person and the first prophet which was sent down to the people okay was adam alayhi salam okay so what we're going to talk about is the story of adam alayhi salam and hopefully by the time we finish all the prophets inshallah we finish all the prophets when we reach our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam hopefully this coronavirus will have gone okay now just whilst we're talking about the prophets just regarding the coronavirus as well there's one thing that we should be doing every single day which is which helps us spiritually which helps us spiritually okay the du'as reading your du'as do you understand especially as children reading your du'as okay reading your namaz do you understand learning about different things in islam Okay, so there's a, a dua that we, many people have said that we can read. Many people say that we can read and um, we can be safeguarded from coronavirus. Um, we read Surah Fatiha three times. Which is Surah Fatiha? Anyone? Surah Fatiha. 
Anyone. Surah Fatiha. How many surahs are there in the Quran? 116 or 117? Um. Come on, hurry up. 116 or 117? How many? 114. 114 surahs. The first surah in the Quran is called Fatiha. Fatiha means to open. Fatiha means to open. So it's the first surah in the Quran. So when you open the Quran, it's the first surah. Which surah is it? It's Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Okay, will you forget this now? Surah Fatiha is Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. So to safeguard yourself from the coronavirus and protect yourself, three things that you need to do. Three times Surah Fatiha. Three times Surah Fatiha. So three times you will read Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Not just Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. You will read the whole Surah. Does anyone know where the Surah finishes? Anyone? Hurry up, come on. غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِّينَ آمِينَ Okay, this is where the Surah finishes. So you'll read it once, then twice, then three times. Then you will read Surah Ikhlas, which is Qul Allahu Ahad, three times. And then 313 times you will read Hasbun Allahu wa Ni'mal Wakeel. Okay, this is really, really good. Okay, how do we know that this is really, really good? Many people have done it. Many people, there's so many messages which are going around as well. So to safeguard yourself from this illness, okay, do the other stuff that you're supposed to be doing as well, washing your hands. And if you're doing wuzu a number of times every single day for each namaz, then inshallah we hope that we will be safe anyway because you're washing your hands, you're putting water in your mouth, in your nose, on your face, on the back of your neck, on your arms and on your ears and your feet. You're doing this anyway. Okay, so three times Surah Fatiha, three times Surah Ikhlas, and three and three hundred and thirteen times Hasbun Allahu wa Ni'mal Wakil. This is a very powerful dua. This is a very powerful dua. Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam, when he was thrown into the fire, when he was thrown into the fire, there's a number of things that people say, but Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam was reading this dua. Which dua is it, Aliya? Hasbun Allahu. وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلِ حَسْبُنَ اللَّهُ وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلِ Okay, has everyone understood that? Okay, now we're going to start off with Adam alayhi salatu was salam. There's a picture or there's a jubba in Dubai, okay? About Adam alayhi salatu was salam's height. About Adam alayhi salatu was salam's height, okay? They say Adam alayhi salatu was salam, Allah created Adam alayhi salatu was salam approximately 60 feet high, tall, 60 feet tall. I am six foot, I am six foot, alhamdulillah, okay? So when I stand next to you guys, I'm tall, yeah? But imagine 10 times in height of me, 10 times, you'd be looking like this, isn't it? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he made Adam alayhi salatu was salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made Adam alayhi salatu was salam very tall. Okay, is that making sense? Okay, now, what, how did this all start? How, this, how did this all start after the first surah? Which is the first surah in the Quran? Surah Fatiha. The second surah after surah Fatiha is surah Baqarah. Baqarah means cow. Baqarah means how okay there's a reason for this but because you are children we're not going to go into too much detail okay but in this surah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he explains how he created adam alayhi salatu was salam okay why he created adam alayhi salatu was salam okay so understand this first that before this human being was created Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created two other creations, okay? One was angels and one was jinn. One was angels and one was jinn. jinn, okay? Does anyone know what angels are made of? Light. Light, noor, beautiful, okay? Does anyone know what jinn are made of? Go on. Fire. Fire, okay? Go on. Small. Anyone else? Smokeless fire. Yeah. Okay. 
So jinns are made of smokeless fire. 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 Okay. And angels are made of no. Okay. Light. Does anyone know what the human being is made of? Clay. What else? Does anyone know? In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions a number of words. Okay. He mentions a number of words. Dust, soil, clay. This is what the human being is made yeah. of. So when we read the Quran, when we read the Quran, and when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look this way, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says that he made us from soil and clay, the question arises is, since the moment that we are born and up until we die, that we don't see any clay. Where's the soil? Where's the clay? You understand? It's a question. Yeah. So if Allah is saying that he's made us from soil and mud and clay, we're not made from... Where is the soil? Well, since the day you have been born, have you seen soil, mud? Apart from when you play inside the garden and mess all your clothes up and then we have to buy expensive washing powder. But apart from that, when you're playing, apart from you playing in the soil, where is the soil on your body? There is none. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the answer to this is that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he created us from soil, he means he created Adam alayhi salatu wasalam from soil, mud and clay. And we are from Adam alayhi salam. Do you understand? So the first person that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created, made was Adam alayhi salam. Any questions so far? Make sure there are not any hard ones. Any questions so far? No. Hira, you want to ask anything? Okay. So look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, He says to the angels, yeah, He says to the angels that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Himself, He's going to create the human beings and He's going to create these human beings and send them onto earth. Do you understand? The ayat is, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةً Khalifa means successor. Khalifa means successor. Meaning one person will come after the other. If we look at Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, his children came, then his children came, then his children came, then his children, up until us. Do you understand? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said that I am going to create these human, this human being or these human beings and I am going to send them onto earth. Do you understand? This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the angels. What does anyone know what the angels said? The angels said that, oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, why are you going to create a creation that's going to go onto this earth and fight and kill each other and shed blood. Quran says this. Who says this? Quran, Quran says this. Yeah? Not Quran. 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 <laughs> Alright? Not Quran. Okay. Quran. Quran. Will you sit in one place? Okay. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that He's going to create this human being. He's going to send it down to earth. He's going to send him down to earth. And many people are going to come after him. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is told by the angels, is mentioned by the angels, that why are you going to create human beings which are going to fight in between each other? Okay? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I know what you do not know. Inni a'alamu ma la ta'alamu. I know what you do not know, he says to the angels. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he orders the angels and he says to the angels that take some soil and or dust, take some dust from the earth. Okay, so the angels, they took some dust from the earth, they mixed water with it and then it became like clay. When you mix soil and dust, it becomes like soil, do you understand? When you mix dust and water and a bit of soil, okay, and then it dries, it becomes like clay. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he created Adam alayhi salatu was salam's body. Do you understand? And it was created and it was left there. It was created and it was left there. Okay, is that making sense? So the angels, they already existed. Do you understand? The jinns, 
Do you understand? They already existed. existed. Before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created this human being. Before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created this human being, the angels and the jinns, they were already there. Now when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he created Adam alayhi salatu was salam. And you know, just the body. Okay, there was no life in it. Just the body was laying there. Okay, guess who came to visit him? Hello. Guess who came to pay him a visit? Who do you think? Who do you think? Mm. Jinn, Iblis, yeah. Iblis, Shaitan, Satan. Iblis came, the king, well, the, the one in charge of all the jinns and Shaitan, okay? Well, Shaitan, all in charge of the Shaitan, Iblis. <coughs> so he came and he looked at Adam alayhi salatu was salam and he thought to himself, what is this? And he had heard all the conversation between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the angels. And then Iblis, Shaitan, okay? What you have to remember about Iblis, okay? Understand one thing, and then I think we'll call it a day over here, and then we'll move on with it tomorrow. What we have to remember is Iblis, he was a jinn. Iblis was a jinn. So Iblis is Shaitan, do you understand? But Iblis at the same time he was a jinn. How do we know? Because many people think that he might have been from the angels. He wasn't from the angels. Okay? Iblis was on this earth. Iblis was on, understand this. Iblis, Shaitan, was on this earth. Okay? And then he was worshipping Allah. He was worshipping Allah. He was good. His name before was Azazil. His name before was. Azazi. Okay? So he was worshipping Allah, worshipping Allah, worshipping Allah. And then what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he brought him closer to him, closer to him and closer to him. And then he started staying with the angels. Angels. So he was a jinn from earth. But because he worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much and built the trust of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much, Allah gave him a chance to stay with the angels. Now when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was talking with the angels, who was listening? Jin. Who was listening? Jin. Yeah, but which one? Iblis. Iblis. Shaitan. We'll say Shaitan. We'll say Jin. We'll say Iblis. He was listening. And he was listening to the conversation. Okay? So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was having the conversation with the angels, angels, he was listening. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made, created the body, he did not put any type of soul in Adam alayhi salam. Yet, Iblis came to Adam alayhi salam and he thought to himself that I am made of fire and he's made of clay. Yeah. So I am better than him. I am better, better than, than him. him. Who decides who is better? Allah. Allah, Allah decides. Okay, it's okay. She's learning. Allah decides who's learning, okay? Allah, de uh, Allah decides who's better. So Iblis came to Adam alayhi salam's stomach, okay? And he's seen that Adam alayhi salam's stomach is hollow, is hollow. hollow. And then he thought to himself at that time that if I ever get a chance to lead this Adam, okay, or whoever alayhi salam astray, I will go through his stomach. And I'll explain everything to you, okay? So we're going to pause here. So, so far, which creation have we talked about? We've talked about the creator, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We've talked about the creation, which is angels and jinn and human beings. Jinn are made of smokeless fire, yeah? Uh, human beings are made up of soil, clay. Do you understand? And uh, what do you call it? Um, angels are made of nur. Okay, now look. Whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created, whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us or created us, do you understand? He took soil from the earth. He took soil from the earth. earth. That's why the whole world, all the soil is different color and it has different qualities inside it. Do you understand? So that's why we see that majority of us were all different color. We have different qualities inside us. Is that making sense to you? Okay. So that's where we get the differences 
from okay now we're just going to pause that inshallah we're going to carry on roughly not leave it we're going to carry on inshallah tomorrow okay same time but has i'm going to ask you some questions about this tomorrow as well that which creation was there do you understand what happened to adam alayhi salam what did allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want what did the angel say we're going to do a recap okay but just because ramadan is coming now as well ramadan is coming now as well okay so i was thinking just to finish off on a few questions and answers as well so we can educate ourselves at the same time regarding ramadan okay okay so this is a question okay the question is what is more beloved to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah than the fragrance of musk Anyone? Um, the smell of a fasting person's breath. MashaAllah. Okay, everyone say MashaAllah. I didn't say clap. I didn't say clap. Yeah. MashaAllah. Okay, we say MashaAllah. All right. So, what was the question? What does Allah love more than musk? Musk smells really, really nice. When a person fasts in the month of Ramadan, okay, and then because he is hungry, there's a smell, a really bad smell that comes out of his mouth. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's more dearer to him. He loves that more than musk. Okay. In which city did the laws of fasting come down? Anyone? Do you know the answer? Medina. Medina. MashaAllah. Everyone say MashaAllah. Masha okay. So the law of fasting, it was revealed in the city of Medina. Medina. Okay. Another question. Is it important? Do you have to make the intention verbally or making the intention for fasting in your heart is good enough? In the heart. In the heart is good enough. Good girl. Okay. Now, in which month of the full year do we fast? Go on. Ramadan. Ramadan. Okay. In which month out of the full year do we fast? We fast in the month of Ramadan. Okay, now just a few more other things to remember. Okay, is it okay to put oil in your head whilst you are fasting? Whilst you are fasting, is it okay to put oil inside your head? It is okay to put oil inside your head. Now another question, if you are fasting, are you allowed to use toothpaste, Colgate? What else is the one? Which else is the one? Colgate? Aquafresh, Sensodyne, Sensodyne, yeah. Sensodyne. <laughs> okay, Oral B. Do you understand? Yeah. Are we allowed to use these toothpastes whilst we fast? No. Okay, to use toothpaste whilst you are fasting, okay, it makes your rosa makaroo, meaning the reward goes down. Okay, you, if you use your toothpaste whilst you are fasting, the reward of your fast goes down. So from zero to ten, zero you are going to get no reward. Ten you are going to get a lot of reward. So once you start using your toothpaste, the reward starts coming down. Six, like five, four, three, two, like that. What else do you think you can use in the month of Ramadan for cleaning your mouth? What else? What do I always do? Miswak. Miswak. Okay. Okay, we'll come to a mouth costume. Good girl, very good answer. Very good, mashallah. Miswak, you can use a miswak. You can use a miswak. Okay, the reward for miswak is massive. Okay. Now there's another question over here because she's used she's used the answer mouthwash. For example, just before the sahri ends, just before does anyone know what sahri means? When... What is sahri? Go on. Is it when your fast's about to end? Is it when um, you wake up at, in the morning to eat? To eat. And that's the hardest part. When you wake up in the morning, or if nowadays, I don't know if you're going to be able to go to sleep as well, but if you wake up in the morning and then there's a paratha and eggs and milk and tea and dal and gobi and chicken and roasted legs, not your own, roasted chicken legs, <laughs> roasted chicken legs in front of you. That time, just before you read Fajr Namaz, is called Sahri time. And that's when you're supposed to eat. And there's a massive reward in eating Sahri. Leave it. There's a massive reward in eating Sahri. It's Sunnah. Are you listening? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If a person fasts without keeping a Sahri, is his fast okay? His fast's okay. Yeah. So if a person doesn't... 
if if person just sleeps through and then he gets up for Fajr namaz and then he reads his namaz and he didn't eat sahri, is his sah- is his roza still accepted? Is is he allowed to keep a roza? Is a roza is still allowed to be kept? Mouthwash, you have to remember. If you want to do a mouthwash, you do it before you before you before the roza finishes. Do you understand? Now, for example, if I've done my mouthwash and I've not eaten anything after this, I've done my mouthwash with my right hand, okay, and I've swallowed it inside my mouth and I've spat it out, okay, too much detail there, okay, now I want to do wuzu, do you understand, I do my wuzu now, and after about 10 minutes, I can feel the mouthwash in my mouth, okay, there's nothing wrong with your rosa, your rosa is fine, do you understand that? The other thing is that if you're using toothpaste, what did I say, if you're using toothpaste and you're using... Um, the toothpaste and it goes down your throat it goes down your throat your rosa breaks your rosa okay. okay so we've done a few questions we've done a little bit of a story of Adam alayhi salam we've done a few questions of um, what do you call it uh, Ramadan okay we're going to go through these again tomorrow inshallah and another thing as you know there's a charity that I run what is the charity Health Foundation. Health Foundation, mashallah. Okay, there's a number of things that we collect for all the time. If anyone wants to help us, inshallah, 07456404555. Khalid, okay, you can contact me. Does anyone know any projects that we are doing? What projects are we doing? Huh? Food parcels. Food parcels in Pakistan and in UK. Okay, for those people that are, uh, what do you call it, on lockdown for coronavirus. So in Ireland as well. What we're doing in Ireland as well is we're collecting money through Health Foundation and we're preparing food parcels that we're giving to people, elderly people, vulnerable people, people with disabilities, okay? So we're going and dropping them off. Okay, so the last message is stay home, stay safe, inshallah, and um, see you inshallah roughly tomorrow, same time. Jazakumullah khair, wa alaikum as-salam. Yep.